I'm Xinjun Chen. I'm a professor at the Management Information System Department of the Ella College of Management. Coping actually had a very interesting beginning because I was sort of challenged by my student who was an officer of Tucson Police Department for about 20 years. He was an undergraduate student in my, in my class and, and he was listening to my talk about search engine, digital library, find information to, to solve scientific problems and so on. And he asked me that whether the system can be used for police investigation or not. And I said, why not? So we wrote a proposal to National Institute of Justice uh, in collaboration with Tucson Police Department. That was 1997. And that was a pretty big grant at that time. It was about $1.2 million. And it got funded right away. And then in a year, we were able to develop a prototype system for Tucson Police De Department. And they love it. So. Then they get uh, their own funding and talk to Phoenix and Phoenix Express interest and since about 1997-1998 then all other agencies are saying the same thing, can we have a system to help, help them solve crime and that's how we started. Coping actually has a couple layers of technology that we built in. In the past, police officers have to access their own system, but the system do not talk to each other. So Pima County has its own system, Tucson Police Department has its own system. So the only way you can find information about the criminals, you have to call your buddy from the other agencies. So our system allows you to integrate your system into something called Data Warehouse, so that you have the same format. After that, all the disparate systems are integrated with it in your own agency and with other people's agencies. So now you can share information. So that's the first layer. Then we add a lot of interesting, more advanced analytics and math to it, and this is for artificial intelligence. So we're finding criminal association, finding locations, finding their uh, time patterns. And so it really creates another layer of intelligence analysis to the large amount of information that we're able to integrate. So these two layers of functionality is something that they can never do before. In the past, they do it in their own head. So veteran would look at analysis, look at a lot of cases, the black books, and do the association in his head. But in our case, we use a large supercomputer, analyze all the association. So actually, the, the cup itself is a super detective. It's actually combined record management system, uh, mug shots, gang databases, and those early systems that we put in allow you to search for people's descriptor, date of birth, aliases, and weapons, and so on. And then this is a, a later version that, that was based on my later research that allow you to look at criminal association and then their locations and so on. I think for most of the entrepreneurs or even for most of the scientists, the curiosity is one thing. But being able to turn your academic curiosity into something that makes an impact, that takes a lot of effort and takes, it really takes your own initiative and motivation because it's very different kind of ball games. You take risk and so on. So coming is was my first project, and now I have a project called Dark Web, which is dealing with counterterrorism using social media content. Now I have another project dealing with um, diabetes, patient support, with collecting information to support patients. But underneath all those projects, there's an underlying science of big data analytics, you collect data, you do analytics based on association, based on prediction, based on mathematical algorithm, but you had the condition and use it in a real life context. So security and health are really my passion now to see whether my research can make impact in the society.